Setting up a Google ad account is super simple. In today's video, I want to show you exactly how to do that step by step, all the buttons you need to push and everything you need to be aware of when you create a new Google ad account. So look, jumping in right here, if you go to ads.google.com, you'll be brought to a page that looks like this. You can also just search for Google ads and that'll bring you right here where you can go ahead and click on this. Again, same thing, it's gonna bring you right to here. Now, first thing that you wanna note is that to help you get started with Google ads, we'll give you a free $600 in ad credit when you spend $600 Canadian. Pretty much everybody gets this who signs up for a new account. So you'll wanna be mindful of that. You will get this credit when creating a new Google ads account under a new email address, not associated with any other Google ad account. When we're at this page, what you wanna do is just go ahead and click on start now, right? And you can go ahead and read more about Google ads right here, but go ahead and click on start now, pretty simple. First thing it's gonna do is get you to sign into your Google account. So you have a Gmail account or you have some sort of Google admin console, Google account. You wanna go ahead and sign into that right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Awesome, so now that I've signed in here, what it's gonna get you to do is go ahead and create your first Google ads campaign and all the next steps that it's gonna get you to set up. So it's gonna get you to add in your business information, create your ads, and then set your budget as well. So typically I go ahead and skip this campaign creation. I'd also recommend you to do this However, it does make it pretty simple to go through these next steps. So I'll go through these with you to get you a better idea of how Google ads. So let's go ahead and enter your business name. So for me, I'm just going to go Jetstream Digital Test. Your website. So you can definitely go ahead and add in your websites. So I'm just going to go ahead and add JetstreamDigital.io. I'm going to go ahead and click on next. And then what you can do here is it's going to prompt you to go ahead and connect your YouTube account. If you have a YouTube account, definitely recommend that you do that. It's also going to get you to connect your Merchant Center account to use Google Shopping. So I also recommend you set that up if you have a Google Merchant Center account already set up. If you don't, no worries. You can go ahead and set that up at a later date and connect that later. Um, just wanted to make you aware that it's gonna prompt you to do that. You can also connect your Google business profile for your business if you wanna link that as well. So we can go ahead and do all those steps. I'm not gonna do this for this test account, but that's fine. If you have a mobile app, you can also do that. And then you can also connect your phone number as well here if you have a local business and you wanna get phone call leads for your business. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on next. Then you can set your goal for your campaign right here. So you're gonna have a couple of different campaign objectives that you can possibly set. You can do purchases, submit lead forms, phone call leads, page views, or brand awareness. Uh, there's also a few more right here, app downloads, contact, book appointments, get directions, outbound click, right? All this different stuff. If you have an e-commerce store, do leads. If you have a local business, I'd su suggest doing submit lead forms or phone calls, right? Page view and brand awareness, uh, we don't recommend very much unless you're a very large business in most cases. So. Uh, those are the different options right here. So for me, I'm just gonna do purchases, let's say in this case, let's go next. And then it's gonna start to prompt us to actually go ahead and create our first ad. So you can see here, we have our final URL. It's gonna automatically go ahead and select some images for us that we can use in our ads. I can also add in additional images if I wanted to. Let's just say I wanted to add in some of this stuff, uh, even though it's not very good. Let's just go ahead and click on save. So you can see some of the ads are starting to populate right there. Let me just make this a little bit smaller right here. So you can see what the ads are actually gonna look like showing up on YouTube in this case. You can go ahead and add in your logo as well right here, which I don't currently have, but you can easily go ahead and upload your logo there as well. You can go ahead and add in your headlines. It's gonna automatically generate some headlines and some long headlines and descriptions. I'm just gonna leave all of these. And then it's gonna have your business name as well here, which you're gonna to wanna to make sure to add if that's different from the name you entered, then you're gonna to wanna to add that in. You can add site link extensions, which are a little bit more advanced. These are essentially just links to other landing pages on your website that you want to link to in your Google search ad. So you can go ahead and add those in as well. And there's a few more different things that you can do here with different extensions that you can have. So a little bit more technical, but this gives you a good idea of creating your first Google ad. And it makes the process really simple when creating your first Google ad account. Okay, so as you can see here, we needed a logo in order to finish this process here. So I'm just going to go ahead and upload a logo. Boom. So I went ahead and added in the logo here. I'm just going to go next now. It's going to give me an ad strength of poor because I didn't customize any of the images or any of the videos or anything like that. So it's not really going to know what to do here. And it's going to ask us for some search words or phrases used people when searching for your products or services. So this is a way for you to create a really easy, simple search campaign. These are essentially keywords that you're adding in right now. So if I wanted to do advertising agency, right? Facebook ads agency or Google ads agency, I can go ahead and add all those in right here. And then we're good to go. And then I can go ahead and click on next. You can also edit, if I go back here, you can also edit the country that you want to target. You probably want to do this. Let me change this to just Canada right here, targeting English. Let's go next. Then you have your bidding. So this is where you can select conversions, set a target cost per action, et cetera. I'm just gonna go next. I'm gonna do that on conversions. It's gonna ask you to set your budget. So whatever your budget is, um, let's say the recommend it's $54. So I'll leave it at that. Then you go next. And then it's gonna get you to add in your payment information right here on this next step. So you can see I already have my payment information set up right here. 
So I'm going to go ahead and it needs me to add in a new payment information. You can see it's publishing now and boom, we have now launched our first Google ad and created our Google ad account as well. So it says here, your ads will go live after a review. So that should take just a short amount of time. It's asking to set up our Google tag on our website. So there's some more steps to do there as well. Just click on next right here. And it's gonna want us to set up this tag. I'm just gonna go confirm, even though it's not added in, permission denied. Let's go discard changes. Let's not do that. So I'm just gonna say, I'll do this later. I don't really wanna mess around with that right now. Okay, there's these events. Agree and continue to the ad account, sure. I'm just going to set all that up later. So this is what the Google ad account setup is going to look like once you arrive in your new Google ads account. So you have your campaigns right here. You can go ahead and view them there. You can see some filters for all campaigns right here as well. It's going to give you a little tutorial on your ad account as well. It's going to go leave this a thumbs up. So you can see your campaigns right here, some uh, insights and reports that you can see all on the left hand side here you can see your campaigns experiments campaign groups assets keywords change history all this good stuff you also have your goals you can view your conversion events there and measurements and then you can view some other things here all your billing information will be here as well if you want to adjust anything and then you have your admin settings as well so you can add in new people to your ad account etc so all of that information is right there and you have now created your first google ad account if i wanted to go ahead and now manage this new campaign that i went ahead and created i can go into here I don't want to actually spend this. Obviously, I just kind of threw that up in no time. So I'm just going to go ahead and pause this. But this is where you can view this actual ad that you just created. And if you want to go ahead and create a new campaign, which is what I'd recommend you doing, doing that a little bit more custom, not just Google's kind of initial throw together of a fast campaign, you know, in under like five minutes, right? Go ahead and go to campaign, click on one of these events and, and go through the, all the manual steps right here, setting up your conversion event, selecting what campaign you want to run, right? Let's say it's search campaign website visits, right? Going through all of these steps to setting up your first campaign. Now, one thing I also wanted to quickly note was you can also change the appearance right here. So this is the new Google ads layout and look. So this is the new design. You can also use the previous design, which is uh, just what I commonly kind of use and prefer. So it looks some something similar to like this. This is the new design right here. Uh, and so uh, if you want to change this back, uh, this is what it would look like. This is the old Google ads design. This is what I prefer. So uh, just in case you were wondering, you're watching tutorials or things like this from other people reviewing Google ad accounts, this is what it used to look like. And again, you can change this to the new design and then it looks like this. So just wanted to make that aware for you. Obviously, like I said, you don't want to just throw together a quick ad campaign using Google strategy. Google ads, there's a lot of complexity here. There's a lot of different buttons. Obviously, as you can tell, it can be a little bit overwhelming. So if you want help running Google ads, I'll leave a link in the description where you can book a call with myself and my team to see if we can help you run some Google ads for you and your business, help you generate leads and grow your business. We have a couple different offers and ways that we can help you. So I recommend you checking out the links in the descriptions, either Jet Ads or JetStreamDigital.io, and we should be able to help you in some way if you're wanting help with your business. So with that, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to leave it a like and subscribe for more videos on Google ads and Google advertising training to help you grow your business. I'll catch you in the next one.